So one of my subscribers, Josh, asked about how he can get clients to close quick. Uh, his, his question to me was, Roy, my biggest challenge is getting clients to sign up to my services quickly and to say, yes, here's the money. Do you have any advice on how to make a client close a deal quickly without delays? Thanks, Josh. Uh, actually, I have three big tips for you today. The first, the first is to get on the phone. Too many people want to sell their services online through emails, DMs, whatever. And that's a huge, huge mistake. Like if you're not willing to get on the phone with a client, if you don't pick up the phone and talk to that client, now I don't think you should cold call them, but if you, if you aren't able to pick up the phone and talk to that client, you're not gonna make a connection. It's not gonna be like human to human. Um, yes, actually, if you go to meet them in person, it's even better. But uh, for the for the most part, um, even if you meet them in person, the deal is going to be done on the phone. Um, and and um, what that allows you to do is instead of some like cold or or like uh, un non personalized pitch for your services, it allows you to match your problem solution equation to their problem. So you're actually able to speak with them and, and figure out like what is their biggest challenge and how how can you help them solve it? And if you can do that clearly, that is like the most powerful thing in terms of being able to close clients quickly is, is actually just getting on the phone and having a conversation with them about the challenges that they're facing and about how your solution might actually be a fit for that. And in that regard, um, the, the second big recommendation here is to disqualify clients. A lot of a lot of salespeople think in terms of, okay, how can I qualify clients? How can I get this, how can I convince this person that my service is right for them? But you're actually way better off trying to disqualify, trying to figure out any reason why this service would not be right for this client. Your goal is to find out early who is not a fit. You you want to figure out, um, you know, in your initial con conversation, should I continue having a conversation with this person? Maybe the timing isn't right. Maybe the, it's not in their budget right now. Maybe they actually don't need services like yours ever. Maybe, uh, who knows, maybe maybe they're working with somebody else right now, but in three months there will be an opportunity. The, the question is how quickly can you figure out when someone is not a fit and how well do you actually uh, do disqualifying so you're not chasing people who are never going to close or who aren't going to close for three months anyway or six months anyway because there it doesn't matter how good your offer is they're not going to close so number one get on the phone number two figure out how to disqualify clients and number three is make sure that you have a powerful process in place for consultative selling. Now, it's all about the process because the process that you have is going to convey, um, it's, it's going to convey uh, confidence to your client. If you have a process that you are confident in where you know step one, step two, step three, step four, and like how to close a deal following your steps, following your system, that is what's required in order to close clients quickly because they're gonna get the process, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're going to develop confidence in your process by going through it with you. They're going to see that you have your crap together. They're going to like trust in you because you have this process in place to close them in the first place. And when you have that, like that, that totally, uh, it, 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 there's a, there's an X factor of like, Hey, I have my crap together. Um, uh, and I'm going to like, uh, uh, because I have my crap together, you can have confidence that in having my crap together in selling to you, I also have it together in delivering my service. And so many people like if you're if if you don't convey confidence in how you are closing the client, the the their expectation uh, for your success in delivering your service is going to be through the floor low. And so they're not going to close. They're not going to close quickly. So, um, my, my, my process for this, um, and, and, you know, I, I go into a ton more detail into all of this and into the entire process in the client getting blueprint. So you should check out the link in the description. It's part of my BTMS Insiders training library, which is an incredible value. Um, and and um, the first four milestones in the client getting blueprint are all about how to launch a client 
uh, business through having a really effective client acquisition system in place. So um, the process is like, first you need to have an introduction. And like I said before, I don't believe in cold calls. I don't think that you should do cold calls. I think most people don't want to hear from you when it comes to cold calls. I do believe that you should reach out to people and have a, a nice conversational introduction. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to drop your pitch on them in your introduction. You just need to start to connect with them and figure out, okay, am I speaking to the right person? And are they maybe a fit? Um, and then when you figure out, yes, they are maybe a fit, then you need to have a process in place to get them onto a scheduled call with you. And um, I, I go through that in a lot of detail in the client getting blueprint. But when you get them on that scheduled call, then you go through, um, I, I teach the, the PISA consultative selling approach, which uh, PISA is my formula problem, agitate, invalidate, solve, ask. And basically you're, you're getting on the phone and, and you're trying to understand the challenge that they're facing and why it is so agitating, like why they feel like they need a solution. You need to, you need to talk to them about the different solutions that they've tried so far and why those have, have not been complete solutions and why they're still um, looking for a solution to the problem. You need to help them define what that solution to the problem is. And then you, you know, assuming that nowhere along the way there, you disqualified them as a potential process or a prospect, you need to ask, you need to make an offer and you need to have like, just like the process up until this point should be clear, your offer document, um, how you are presenting your offer should be absolutely clear. And so you should make a definitive offer. Um, and if you do this, like if you're willing to get on the phone with them and make that connection, matching your solution to their problem or challenge, if you disqualify clients who are not a fit, and importantly, like think about it in terms of the bleeding neck. If you want clients to close quickly, you need a client who is like suffering this problem, not just like as a general long-term problem, but as an immediate problem that they need a solution to now. And so anybody who doesn't have that kind of bleeding neck phenomenon on where they need a solution to their problem now that's who you uh, well that's who you need to disqualify and the people that you need to actually have like continue your conversation with and and make an offer to are the people who are like yeah i need this now i need like i need a solution yesterday and then those people are going to be ready. Like if you have that clear process in place, the consultative selling process, which is number three, um, they are going to be ready to close quickly. Um, so, I mean, that's 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 my most direct advice. And if you want a much more in depth, like how to do this, how to structure it, how to build it, how to make sure that your offer is is on point, um, how to how to build that system to get people on the phone with you, what to say once they're actually on the phone, how to make that offer, how to actually reach out to, to prospects like all of that is in the client getting blueprint and it's it's like just milestone one through four um which is which is on launching your client business like that is it's 10 hours of powerful content in this process and if you put in that 10 hours now it becomes way easier to close clients quicker in your client business so check that out the link is in the description uh, comment below let me know ask any questions that you have regarding um anything about this or that you'd like to see covered in an upcoming video, make sure you smack on that like button and uh, let the magical algorithms of the internet know that the that, that you'd like more content like this. Also to share it with more people like you. If you know somebody who'd get value out of this, you can share it with them directly and make sure you're subscribed here. You can also go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com, sign up for my emails Monday through Friday covering marketing, copywriting, business building, selling, and more. My name is Roy Fur. This is a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I hope you've gotten a ton of value out of it and I look forward to seeing you again in your next video issue. See you soon. Bye.